let's evaluate the limit as x goes to 0 of tangent of 5x divided by the sine of 3x. Plugging in 0 for x is, yields 0 over 0, which again is in determinate form. So here's how we proceed. We're going to take the limit we have. So this is tangent of 5x divided by sine of 3x. And then we look at the what's inside the tangent and what's inside the sine. We have 5x and 3x. So we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 5 times 3 times x divided by 5 times 3 times x. Notice that it didn't change the problem at all because both numerator and denominator are the same. We're taking a limit, so x approaches 0. It's never 0. So we actually are not ever dividing by 0. Therefore, this is just a form of 1. Let's rewrite this limit as follows. There's a couple of limits. This is the limit as x goes to 0. We have tangent of 5x. And then from the denominator, I'm going to take 5x times, we have sine of 3x in the denominator. And I'm going to take 3x from the numerator. And over here, we're going to put what's left. And so what is left? We took 3x from the numerator. Therefore, 5 is left. We took 5x from the denominator. 3 is left. And let's look at the two things that I'm circling, this one over here and this one over here. First of all, let y equal to 5x and let z equal to 3x. As x goes to 0, clearly 5x goes to 0, so y goes to 0. And of course, 3x also goes to 0, so z goes to 0. The first part can be rewritten as the limit as y goes to 0, tangent y divided by y. Now the second part over here, 3x over sine of 3x, let's write it like this. This is times 1 divided by the limit as z goes to 0, and that would be sine of z divided by z. Notice that if I just flip this part right here, I get z over sine z, that's 3x over sine 3x, and then over here times 5 thirds. Now, this limit is 1. You can see that why that is in the previous video, or if you may already know that. Of course, this limit here is also 1. So we have 1 times 1 times 5 thirds, and the answer is 5 over 3. So in the future, any time you encounter limits like this. Let's say limit x goes to 0. And then we have something like tangent of ax divided by sine of bx. And assuming that a and b are positive numbers, this limit would be by the same argument I just gave you, a divided by b. And this just doesn't work for si tangent over sine. It also works for a limit as x goes to 0 of sine of ax divided by sine of bx. This will be a divided by b as well. And you can, any kind of combination of tangents and sines, as long as both go to zero inside the tangent and inside the sine. For more videos, go to www.mathprepvideos.com.